Welcome to the midweek message. We're taking some verses from Proverbs chapter 21, and I'm reading from the King James Version of the Bible. Proverbs chapter 21 and verse 17. He that loveth pleasure shall be a poor man. He that loveth wine and oil shall not be rich. The wicked shall be a ransom for the righteous and the transgressor for the upright. It is better to dwell in the wilderness than which the contentious and an angry woman. There is treasure to be desired and oil in the dwelling of the wise, but a foolish man spinneth it up. He that followeth after righteousness and mercy findeth life, righteousness, and honor. Let's walk these verses down one by one. Uh, Proverbs chapter 21 and verse 17. He that loveth pleasure shall be a poor man. He that loveth wine and oil shall not be rich. In view, of course, is the fact that folks who uh, whose lives are devoted to leisure or whose primary goal is to enjoy themselves in life will often meet with calamity, not the least of which is uh, financial difficulty. He that loves pleasure shall be a poor man. I do mental health counseling all day, every day. If a person does not have mental health difficulties, if they're under enough financial pressure, they will develop them. And many people there are which uh, do not devote their lives to being uh, industrious, uh, don't seek gainful and honest employment, don't develop much of a work ethic, and give their lives instead to pleasure and all types of frivolity, those type of people will be poor in life. A person that loves oil and wine won't be rich. Of course, in view is the fact that uh, certainly some of it has to do with uh, recreational alcohol use, uh, being a primary thing in a person's life, oil being symbolic of maybe finer things in life. If a person is devoted to alcohol and devoted to uh, simply enjoying luxuries, they won't be rich. Verse 18, the wicked shall be a ransom for the righteous and the transgressor for the upright. Now, to be honest, verses like this seem to stand in contrast to the uh, many Bible verses and even some illustrations that have to do with the fact that uh, a person can uh, receive dishonest gain or seem like they're coming out ahead in life uh, by uh, uh, ways of wickedness, cheating people uh, and the like. Ultimately, remember that righteousness is going to triumph over wickedness and a person that is upright will be more successful than the transgressor. The scripture says the way of a transgressor is hard. Verse 19, it is better to dwell in the wilderness than with a contentious and an angry woman. Now, we've read some, uh, a verse earlier in this chapter that was uh, very similar to this. Uh, the idea is it's better to be alone than uh, in a relationship that's contentious. So that's verse 19, Proverbs 21. Verse 20, there is treasure to be desired and oil in the dwelling of the wise, but a foolish man spendeth it up. Those who are going to be successful financially, and by that I'm not saying necessarily people that are going to have a lot of money, but people that are going to be profited financially, not going to spend up everything that they make. And I understand, even when I say that, that there are many good and godly people who uh, don't have much in uh, financial or material uh, terms, but it's not wise for people to devote their lives to uh, just spending up anything they can uh, they can acquire. It kind of goes in even in line with the idea of being devoted to alcohol or uh, devoted to pleasure. Those things do not tend uh, to give people stability in life in many areas, but especially in the 
the financial area. Verse 21, he that followeth after righteousness and mercy findeth life, righteousness, and honor. In contrast to the person that is a spendthrift, spend in contrast to the person that is wasteful, in contrast to the person who's an alcoholic, who devotes themselves only to the pleasures of the flesh, the scripture says, if you follow righteousness and mercy, you find some things. What do you find? You find your life. You don't waste your life. If you're concerned about doing the right thing, but also being merciful, you find the meaning of life. And you find what you seek. If you seek righteousness, you will find it. You will be filled if you seek righteousness. And in finding your life, and righteousness, you will find honor. He that followeth after righteousness and mercy findeth life, righteousness, and honor.